Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on troubleshooting fiber cable networks. Today we're going to be talking about using the specific tool for the job, and then we will conclude with some common fiber cable problems. There's a fair amount of ground to cover, so let's go ahead and begin this session. Of course, I'm going to begin by talking about using the specific tool for the job. The nature of fiber optic networks makes troubleshooting them a little more expensive than other types of networks. The reason for this is that the best and sometimes only tool that can be used for troubleshooting fiber optic cable problems is the optical time domain reflectometer or the OTDR. Using the specific tool for the job at hand will ease the burden of diagnosing and resolving any network issues. While an OTDR costs thousands of dollars, or in some cases tens of thousands of dollars, in many cases it can quickly diagnose the problem. A quick diagnosis can lead to a quick solution, often saving significantly more than the cost of the tool by preventing lost productivity and or revenue. That is why we spend money on OTDRs. So let's talk about some common fiber cable problems. We're going to begin by talking about attenuation or decibel loss. All network transmissions degrade over distance. This is called attenuation or decibel loss. This loss of signal strength can lead to slower speeds, loss or corruption of network traffic, or the loss of the network communication link. The OTDR can not only diagnose attenuation, but it can also help in the placement of a repeater station. Then there's broken fiber optic cables. As with all types of cable media, fiber optic cables are subject to breakage. As a matter of fact, in some cases they are more delicate than other types of media. Certain types of fiber cable can span many kilometers, making it difficult to determine where a break has occurred. The OTDR can be used to determine where a break in the fiber optic cable has occurred, allowing the technician to insert a splice at that point. A common cause of breaks in fiber optic cable is exceeding the bend radius limitations of the cable. Due to the construction of fiber optic cables, it is subject to breakage if it is bent beyond a certain point. It is possible for small form factor pluggable transceivers or for gigabit interface converter transceivers to go bad. The SPF and GBIC transceivers are hot swappable replaceable modules that are used to add gigabit capabilities to switches, routers, and other networking equipment. A bad transceiver will prevent communication from occurring. An OTDR can be used to help diagnose a bad SPF or GBIC module. It is possible to have a fiber type mismatch. Single mode fiber and multi mode fiber use different methods for placing the signal on the optic fiber. If a mismatch occurs, the most common problem is that it will be impossible to make a network connection. This is also referred to as a wavelength mismatch as the wavelength or color of the light being used is different between the modes of fiber transceivers. The OTDR can be used to determine the types of transceivers that are being used. There are some other fiber optic cable issues that can arise. Anything that can interrupt the flow of light from transceiver to transceiver will create a problem. Dirt or smudges on the connectors may cause an issue with fiber optic cable transmissions. When this is suspected, using a soft polishing cloth to clean the ends of the cable will solve the problem. There is a caution. Never look directly into the ends of connected fiber optic cable. If you do so, you run the risk of damaging your eyes. Connectors are also specific to the mode of transmission as in SMF or MMF. Connecting the wrong type of connector to a cable will prevent proper communication from occurring. Also check to make sure that the proper connectors are being used with the proper type of fiber optic cables. Worn or broken connectors will create an air gap, which will create a network transmission problem. Always inspect the connectors for their condition before use. 
an OTDR can be used to determine where the loss of signal is occurring, even if it is at the connector. That concludes this session on troubleshooting fiber cable networks. We talked about using the specific tool for the job, and then we concluded with common fiber cable problems. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I hope you do watch another one soon.